Edward here from ERViewer.com. We have another video for you. I'm continuing my uh, research and experimentation into the, the possibility of being able to manipulate uh, my own limen or my own threshold barrier, that, that area between uh, conscious awareness and what's considered our subconscious, that, that band right between the two. Uh, that, that separate, or they, they seem to separate the two. In remote viewing, or, or in this process of, of acquiring um, perceptions uh, from unknown remote targets, or what we call remote viewing, uh, what, what we're attempting to do is to become aware of, of these inputs, um, this, these information bits uh, coming to our uh, conscious awareness through the deep, the deeper parts of our own mind that are that are connected to uh, the fabric of the universe, the quantum universe, or whatever, however we want to call it, um, it's, it's an unknown. We're we're just still trying to figure this out. Um, but that's what I'm attempting to do, and and so I'm working. All these targets that I work are really designed uh, to just assist uh, in in the process of my own uh, work um, with with the the limen or with the uh, threshold barrier and attempting to uh, bring my awareness to that barrier, become more accustomed to it, um, and even attempt to manipulate it in a way that um, is noticeable, as if uh, like I'm having a, like I can notice some type of physical almost reaction uh, to to moving it or manipulating it in some way, and the target works uh, as a stimulus um, to show that if I do. Uh, manipulate the lemon. If I do manipulate the barrier, uh, and um, a greater understanding or, or a larger perception comes through as a result that that ends up being accurate, then that gives me a, a sense of um, the progress that I'm making uh, with understanding or working with this area within our own mind. So that that's what the target represents to me. Uh, so these are online targets. Uh, typically, they're not anything. Too, too interesting to me. Um, they're, they're, I'm not really too interested in the target as much as I am in the mental processes, the emotional stimulation, uh, the dimensional sensations, um, how the lemon is, is affected and, and my own ability to uh, navigate or manipulate the lemon. But every, every once in a while I'll get some, some, some target or some element of, of the target or what I, I'll call, I'm calling it the, these days a range of, of time space. Um, that piques my curiosity, piques my interest. There's something there that I'm really interested in, um, uh, and the interest is below the be, below the limit, below the, the the threshold barrier. And what comes uh, above the the limit is my own interest and curiosity, or, or emotions of curiosity or fascination. Uh, these types of emotions then become available, and that is another indicator to me that there's something interesting here uh, that is coming through, and then I allow my, myself to experience um, that curiosity and uh, fascination um, as I can sense that there's something there that is very interesting to me. That's what happened with this experiment. Uh, the target was the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. Now I've had this target before. Uh, the first videos that I've done, my my first videos, uh, that was the target was the Louvre Museum, um, and so here it comes around again. But in this in this time around, um, again my my um, my objective is to manipulate the lemon, to to navigate the barrier and try to manipulate it or move it. Um, and as I'm attempting to do that, uh, something. Uh, below the below the limit in the area that that in my opinion uh, is where we are genius our, our genius exists right beyond that barrier um, but uh, fascination took over there was something there of interest to me something very interesting was was there at this target and it was stimulating a lot of uh, of curiosity and a lot of things were, were making making their way through the barrier through the limit um, into my awareness so uh, anyway, the session was done, and I look at the the feedback photo, and there's the Louvre Museum. I'm like, oh boy, I don't know what I don't know what happened there. Um, uh, this this doesn't seem like it has anything to do with with uh, the museum. Um, so I sat with it, and then I just decided there, there's that was too too interesting. The session had the elements of of um, a, a, an actual remote viewing, so I needed to look further. 
And so as I'm looking through, I'm trying to find what it is that I was interested in, which what was piquing my curiosity, which is the things that pique my curiosity, things that are a um, little more on the uh, quantum level, scientific level, subatomic level, these types of things. This is what I was, this is what I, what was making its way through the limen for me uh, with this target was um, something that was super high tech, uh, something that was like CERN, that, that was like uh, nuclear uh, particles and, and atoms and, and all that. And also had to do with history. It had something to do with history. Um, and, it was, and it also represent, was representing what I was experiencing was the progression of this type of technology. And it, that was a inter very interesting part of the experience was that I was, I was going through the experience of perceiving this technology and also seeing it uh, as it is progressing. So uh, anyway, what I found out was that, um, what I found was that in the basement of the Louvre Museum, they have a particle accelerator. And it is the, on the only particle accelerator in the world that is used to uh, study artifacts and these ancient uh, artworks and that kind of thing. It's the only one in the world that does that. And so as I'm seeing this or in, in researching it and I'm looking at my uh, what I was experiencing um, and seeing that that the Louvre Museum has this unique piece of technology, a particle accelerator, you just don't find those everywhere. I mean, there's, you know, how many of them are there, are, are there in the world? There's just very few. Um, and so it made this session, uh, it made it successful for me. As I was, again, as, as I'm within this uh, experience, I'm attempting to, to um, manipulate or adjust or move. Uh, again, these are just descriptive words for what I'm trying to do, which is to manipulate my own barrier, my own limit. Um, but I wanted to read something as, as I was researching what the, what the particle accelerator uh, at um, the Louvre Museum does. This is, a, this is just a... A short paragraph as I was researching it uh, says um, it's talking about they, they use um, protons and uh, alpha particles which are like a, like a helium particle and these are the particles that they use they, they shoot them into the artifacts um, in in order to uh, read the the chemical compounds and the elements um, within the the atom the atomic structure of these artifacts. Uh, so this is one of the, one uh, paragraph that really um, hit home as to what I was experiencing in the session. But they're talking about these uh, protons, um, and that these light nuclei disturb the electron cloud of a large number of atoms, or initiate nuclear rea nuclear reactions with light elements. Um, that's what this thing does and and so again how it correlates with my experience with this session um, is that that was a type of, of um, experience that I was having so that made that made it really cool to me so if you're into that kind of thing um, and that kind of science uh, you may find this interesting and you may and you may pick up pick up things that I was going through that I'm still trying to trying to research and understand uh, but again, uh, the the future of my work is to to learn more about the threshold barrier, um, that area of our minds um, that separate our everyday awareness with that vast uh, genius comprehension uh, field uh, that we also operate uh, within that that greater part of ourselves. That's really what I'm in search of: is that uh, greater part of ourselves, uh, our genius. And, and what, again, what, what makes this process so fascinating to me is that um, when, when I'm stimulated uh, in, in that below uh, threshold area of my mind and, and those uh, comprehensions and, and concepts make their way through, through the limit, through the barrier into my everyday awareness, I get greater understandings of these, um, these things than I would have had I just read them or research them on my own, uh, studying them with my own uh, regular awareness. Uh, I wouldn't be able to comprehend these things to, to, at the depth that I can when uh, that deeper part of myself um, 
observes and makes makes sense of, of these things and pushes some of that small pieces of, of that through the lemon into my everyday awareness uh, so that that's what I'm interested in that's what I'm after that's what I want to capture on video I want to capture on video uh, the experience of, of of manipulating the lemon in a way that uh, shows the experience, uh, the real experience, a live, real demonstration of, uh, of when that area gets manipulated by my own will, uh, the, the, own for, the force of my own will to, to manipulate the, that force field of the lemon and show as um, greater comprehensions uh, uh, come through as a result of that manipulation. So that's that's what I'm working on. I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be successful with it. I feel that I will, um, and that's my last work. So I hope you enjoy this, and many more to come. Test, test, test. Okay. Can I fluctuate? Can I fluctuate the limit? Can I fluctuate the threshold barrier in a way that is noticeable, that is in a way that I can feel it? Can I become aware of, of intentionally fluctuating the limit? Can I do it from a state of awareness where I can actually feel it? And move it or manipulate it or move it, fluctuate it on command. I'm curious about that. I'm going to try doing that. I'm going to try doing that. Try doing that with this range of time and space here. Seven zero zero one. Purple. Edged. Pointy. Round. I'm getting a random thought here, it could be unimpeded, limited, 7001, 7001, inside, around, curved, looping, narrow, dim, shadowed, <coughs> I am having a a um, emotional reaction of curiosity. How are you spell? I can't spell. Seven zero zero one. Green, flowery, edged. Again, purple. So I'm getting some sh some dimensional sensation. Of of some you know of of a curved thing. I think the flower is kind of an, an adaptation of it, or maybe it is flowers, but some kind of curved shape here. A curved shape, round and, and um, curved, curved. This feels solid though. Um, I'm getting like stony as well, or at least something there is stony. Um, but curved and yellow and, and um, Yeah, some kind of a standout object, uh, sort of standout structure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting something like this. 
This is a crude shape form, but it also feels like it is something like that, something like that, or something like that. This is going to be comparators of like um, some kind of blast off. Uh, but I am getting a sense of people, 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 people. What is this? Is that the sign? What am I getting with this? Let me get back to some of this. Let me get back to the stimulus. What's some processed, with some processed um, descriptors? Seven zero zero one. Getting this random thought here. Future. Future. Bright yellow. Flashy. Future. That's interesting. That's interesting. I want to just explore this. Um, what would future represent to me? What what would what would stimulate that as an idea? You know, there would be something here that is uh, representing uh, a progression. I think it's how you spell representing a progression. Um, how something will unfold into the future, how something will unfold. How something will unfold. Um, how it will be seen in the future, how, how it will affect the future. How it will affect the future. Yeah. This is giving me ideas of technology. You know, as, 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 as an idea or a, um, a comparator. But this is an idea here. This is an idea. This is an idea. It's an interesting one. I want to explore it more and it, it feels good. Um, but this is something that uh, affects the f it has an effect on the future. This is giving me another comparators like 9/11 since we're right at that time. Um, but it, that the idea of that or how something how something like that affects the future. This 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 thing has an effect. Sets off a chain reaction. Chain reaction. Um, or what the future what the future looks like. Um, you know, this is like a time marker. Uh, but it's like whatever this range of of or this area of this range of point in time, this range of time and space. There's something about it that is that is stimulating my own uh, uh, idea, the idea within me that whatever this range of time and space is, um, it's re representing something as it unfolds into the future, or it has an effect on something in the future, as opposed to just some art sculpture or something like that, which is just kind of an object. This is something that is showing the future. Showing the future. Showing the future. And, and it's giving me the ideas that, that it's something technology-wise. You know, this is um, 
I'm getting the, the ideas of technology. I'm getting the ideas of of um, of war and that kind of thing. Um, but let's look at technology like robotics um, or. this kind of thing. Um, I'm getting images or comparators in my mind now of like Metropolis, the movie. You know, that kind of thing. That kind of, a, st a story that is showing what the future, what the future holds. A representation of the future. That's what I'm, I'm really interested in that right now. I'm inside of that idea right now. But let's, let's bring it back to here. How does that, how does that how does that show here? You know, in that, because I'm looking at this now, I'm, I'm still thinking of blasts and war and uh, even nukes. That kind of thing um, as comparators. But I want to go back to this. Back to this. Yeah. You know, I'm getting images in my mind of like a clock. Yeah. You know. That kind of thing. Time. Again, it's a future thing. Time. That's what I feel like I'm dealing with here, or something um, on a quantum level of science, maybe. <clears throat> I'm going to stick with this, whatever the, uh, I'm not too con concerned with the feedback photo at this point as, a, as much as I'm curious with, with, I'm, with what I'm interested in right here, showing the time, 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 time. You know, this is giving me ideas of high, high tech, <coughs> quantum. Um, atomic. Atomic, these types of things. Something how it affects time. Um, effects. Effects of or on time. That kind of thing. I mean, comparators here like CERN. That that kind of thing. Um, I'm all over the place now. I bring it back to a certain point. <coughs> Bring it back to a certain point or a certain thing. Future. Future. This feels like um, uh, my own my own curiosity. Because the range of, of time and space feels like it is representing something or an event or a representation of something that is showing the future. Showing the future of something, showing the future. Um, it represents something that has been captured as it is progressing. Captured. I like that idea of captured as it is progressing. Or spreading. <clears throat> and how how this will progress, how will how it will what will what will it look like in the future? Then what is the future outcome of what this thing represents? What is the future of this then? I'm going to if I can fluctuate the lemon, that is my question. What does this represent? What is the future of this then? That's what I want to go to then. What is the future?
<clears throat> what is the future of this thing? You know, I get these these um, idea words like classic, that kind of thing. What is the future of this thing? What is the future of this? Thing? What am I dealing with here? Effects in the future, chain reaction, something that is representing something that will be in progression. What is the what is the outcome of the progression? Then I want to go there. What is the future? What is the outcome of the progression? Why am I getting Why am I getting nothing? How does it progress? What is it in the future? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, some, I'm gonna need a, st a stimulus for this. I'm not getting anything. So this is the question. What is the future of this? What is the, what is the outcome? What, is the, what does the progression look like? Seven zero zero. Seven zero zero. Inside, around, flat and dense. Simple, simple, simple. What does that mean? Um, let's see. Let me look at simple, like uh, um, complicated, uh, refined down, refined, refined down. Um, this is give me comparators of the idea of like nanotech. That's the idea <clears throat> where it's so, it's so small, it's refined down to a nano, down to the particulate level, particle level. Particle level, you know, we're subatomic. Subatomic, um, meaning the idea here of not <clears throat> uh, detectable, and I don't, I don't like that. I don't. I'm, there's, there's more to that. Meaning, like, like it starts out big. It progresses into the small. That, this is the idea. Like this is representing it at the moment that the, the photo was taken, or whatever, or that it w became a, an interest to to someone, which will be the feedback photo. What is the progression? Is that it gets small? It progresses into a smaller state, refined, refined down refined down. That's why I'm getting into this molecular subatomic level or nanoparticle level that as it progresses it becomes smaller. That's an idea but there's something more to that though. There's more to that. There's more to that. More to that. There's more to it than that. You know, this is some kind of high, like high tech, like uh, um, oh, I'm getting all kinds of high tech stuff now, like um, plasma, uh, photon, or solar, or nuclear, um, that kind of thing. <coughs> <clears throat> microwave microwave technology that kind of thing waves wave that kind of thing that kind of thing refined down to Some kind of a wave pattern or something like that. See, 
this is giving me the idea off of this nuke thing of like what is the future obliteration that that kind of thing what is the future of of this because <clears throat> whatever this is when i'm looking at what the future is of it um it's kind of like almost i'm getting this idea of like flat line but something else, something else, something else. Some type of particle type. Tech, there's tech. Nuke. Fission. Effects on time. Effects on time. This is a weird target. This is some interesting stuff. This is some interesting stuff. It deals with the progression of something. It deals with how something progresses. Something is uh, invented or um, something is, is invented the right word? Something is constructed and it's a, a and this like the feedback or what I'm perceiving is, the, is when it is a, is a beginning or a turning point in its evolution, a turning point. This was, and again, I'm referring to the feedback folder here, or the, the, this this area of time and space. But but what it what it represents, or what it's what is triggering me, is that this is representing a turning point in its evolution, and it's really what it progresses into that interest is, and that is of my interest. What does it progress into? What does it become? What is the future of it? And the future of it in my, in my, is some kind of an effect on time, something on the atomic level, um, like something solar or nuclear, subatomic level, nanotech, some kind of freaky tech. But the, but it's almost, it's very, very different. The outcome of this is something very different, like some kind of ripple in, in the wave, some kind of change in time or something like that, or some kind of a weird altering of um, subatomic um, changes. Um, some kind of a, like radioactive radiation changes or something like that. Something like that. Um, getting the ideas of change in, in, in uh, weather and, you know, this is some, have some major effect on a lot of things. This is some kind of a weird, weird tech that has changes on all kinds of things. All right, let me end it on that. <clears throat>